It's hard to come up with anything novel in music. There's only a limited number of notes. But within that, what a tremendous amount of creativity people can give to each other. There can be moments of discovery in music. One that's really obvious is when we tried to teach elephants to play music. These elephants, they used to work in the logging industry in Thailand. Logging is, is actually illegal in Thailand now. Richard Lair, who's an American, helped to start the Thai Elephant Conservation Center. I went to Thailand, and he said, you know, elephants like music. Everybody who lives with elephants knows that. But would they play music? And uh, I built a giant uh, marimba. And in about half an hour, an elephant learned to play it. The way that we conduct this elephant orchestra is we just tell the elephants which instruments to play. So, you know, I say start and stop, I'll do this. And then some of the elephants know what that means stop and they'll drop the stick. And sometimes you go stop, stop, stop. And they know you're telling them to stop and they keep playing. This will sound nuts, but they're playing a joke. They think it's funny. Well, to me, the elephant music sounds like an elephant walking in, in the forest. A gentle, thoughtful kind of sound and they kind of seem to soak into every sound and the note. Sometimes it gets angry too, and you know, elephants can have a temper. Some of them can have a very bad temper, I'm afraid. They can also be very loving and very sweet. There's three elephant records now, pure elephant music. It's exactly what they play in real time. The reason that I decided to do it was because it was a chance to hang out with elephants. They're, they're about the most amazing creatures you can imagine. They're 10,000 pounds, they're really smart, and unless you're out there and spend a little time with them, you can't believe the skills they have.